top of the morning everybody good morning everybody what's up what's up top of the morning what's up big dog hey zeus sky high kennels i don't know about that blowing kisses though <laughs> crazy man yeah i'm about to retire miss perfect um I'm meeting up with somebody. Uh, she's gonna be taking a trip, and um, I decided to retire her. She just had her fourth litter, and so I'm going, going to hang it up for. We're gonna go on to hang up her jersey. We're gonna go on to hang up Miss uh, Miss Perfect's jersey. So, you know, I don't like to wear dogs out like that, even though she's one of the best producers I've ever had. Can't wear a dog out like that and um, I'm sure I could place her with somebody for another even for another litter or something maybe but I don't want to you know I, I'm a firm believer that once a um, you know once a dog puts in their time with me um, and uh, you know they pretty much you know she's already did four litters she really can't do too much more and I would hate for her to be put somewhere where she could get taken advantage of, um, overworked. Uh, so I just place the dogs. I place the dogs where they can't be bred. Place them in good homes, you know. Good karma, good energy, man. When you're done with a dog, you know, place her in the right hands, man. Um, there are some people that I observe how they run their yards, how they take care of their dogs that I wouldn't even place a dog over there because I know that the dog's gonna end up dying. The way people have some of their setups and the way some people take care of their dogs, I mean, you know the dog gonna end up dead or the dog gonna be mistreated or the dog gonna be, the dog gonna have the, the wrong environment. It's gonna be too hot, too cold. Knowing that, sometimes it's not right to take the money for the dog it's not it's not right to take the money for the dog because um, you, you're putting that dog in a, in a bad position it's like it's like leaving your kids with a with a with a uh, with a terrible babysitter with a babysitter that you know doesn't have moral ethics cleanliness and all types of different things like that you know what I'm saying you wouldn't leave your kids like that so I wouldn't sell my dog or place my dog um, somewhere like that here goes the people to come pick up Miss Perfect right here. Hey, um, it's a couple of dogs that are getting picked up. It's a program that I it's a program that I know about, you know, where they where they do a good job placing dogs. So thank God. So Miss Perfect is retired. She's gonna be retired. She's gonna be put in a good home. You know what I'm saying? She put in her work for the West Coast Bully Unit. And um, she deserves to live a a um uh she deserves to live a good life and i'm telling you i was looking at i was looking at i was looking at miss perfect today i mean last night and i was like damn i'm like man she looked like she got another litter in her but you know what she already did four litters she did her thing man she's about to be retired miss perfect what's up mamas what's up mamas that's it she already did your thing you know she gonna go and go on and enjoy your life right there she, 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 she fired Miss Perfect Miss Perfect dropped four litters for me Miss Perfect dropped four litters for me she dropped four litters for me but um, unfortunately her first litter um, when I did the first time I bred Nipsey and Miss Perfect um, the best male the best two she had five puppies her first time I bred her the best two puppies died. The whelper lost the best two puppies. I'm not gonna say it's the whelper's fault. I'm not gonna say who, who, whatever, whatever. But the best two puppies died in her first litter. So I didn't keep nothing off that litter. There was a hard ass male and there was a hard ass female. Um, it was a male that was just as hard as bobblehead, if not harder. Um, the other males, there was another nice male, but it's just after seeing the male that I lost and the female that I lost, I didn't keep nothing out of that. So, um, 
so I did the I did the Nipsey and Miss Perfect breeding again. This time, the whelper didn't lose any puppies. It was a different whelper. I didn't lose any puppies, and I got Bobblehead. I got Rose Gold. Those were my two keepers, and the litter and the litter was a success. The third time, I bred Miss Perfect to Fat Boy. You know what I'm saying? I bred her to Fat Boy, and the litter was the litter was fire i had seven puppies right but um the whelper lost three males the whelper lost three males and 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 he for sure lost the best male and probably the second best male but i still got mr perfect but mr perfect was like third pick he was he's still hard but there was a male in that litter that was better than him so i'm hanging on to mr perfect i got him with my peoples with jesus and wilman and then we got a female off of that litter too. Um, we kept two females out of I kept two females out of that litter. I placed one with my boy Jesus and Wilma Sky High Clinos. That's shortcake. She's like one of the smallest dogs I've ever seen in my life. She's hella small. Bro, there was a there was a there was there was two males out of Fat Boy and Miss Perfect that were fucking that, they were ridiculous. I already knew I had a superstar. But like two, three weeks into the whelp and he all of a sudden told me, you know, they died. He lost three he lost three males in that litter. One of them was probably the worst male. And then the other two were the first two picks, and then Mr. Perfect was probably third pick. And um Yeah, but I kept the two females out of that litter. So um yeah, and then and then I just bred Miss Perfect to a to a, a pimp and ain't easy son named um Toomey. But she only gave me one puppy. She only gave me one puppy. So when I did the C-section, my C-section guy, you know, when he cut her open, he he, he saw a little bit of like, uh, just a little bit of like bubbles, a little bit on on her, on her uterus. And, and the way he explained it to me is, you know, as they get a little bit older, some of these things tend to happen. And so she only had one puppy. And so, you know what? I just figured, you know what? That's it. You know what I mean? She did what she did for me. And it's time to retire her and, um, you know, go on leg over, let her go do her thing. I place my dogs in some great homes, man. Like, I be getting pictures of King Kong, Mona Lisa, paint job, living on couches and, and in the house. And so, you know, I, how you doing? All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, you know, Miss Perfect, she a eye catcher. I got people stopping me at the gas stop and at the gas station. But, um. Yeah, man, I'm a firm believer. Once these dogs put in their work, I try to do the best that I can do to accommodate them while they're with me in their breeding programs. But after that, I let them go enjoy their life. I don't, you know, there's some people out there, they get three, four litters out of female and they go and try to push one or two litters more out of them and like push them to the home here and they're greedy. That's not right. That's right. That's not right. To me, that's bad karma, bad energy and all that. Um, I don't do that. You know, she already put her work in. So, you know, I wanted to do this live video to make a tribute to Miss Perfect, you know what I mean? What's up, mamas? You did your thug thizzle for your boy, you know? Um, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that with Miss Perfect, her first litter, um, the best two puppies died. Um, the second litter, no puppies died, and um, I got I got bobblehead. I got rose gold. My boy from pay-per-view pay bullies got the first pick female. She's probably nicer than Bobblehead and Rose Gold. So um, she showed me what she could do when I got a complete litter. It was unfortunate that in two out of in two out of her four litters that the best puppies died. And then in her last litter, she only gave me one male off of a pimpin' ain't easy, easy son. And he's hard as fuck too. But she did her thing. I you know, I kind of teetered back and forth on if I should if I should breed her again but ultimately I decided not to um, my program is going in a great direction you know I mean she only gave me one puppy you know um, I got three daughters of hers in my program I got two of her sons in my program so she did her thing man and, and, and it's time for her um, to go on and live her life uh, as a house dog as a pet um, you know, live comfortably on the couch, get more love and care that I can provide. Um, don't get it twisted though. I provide my dogs with great care, great space. I feed them the best food. Um, I give them the most love, you know, 
that I can um, and I don't cut no corners with them um, so um, but ultimately somebody who's only got one or two dogs who's only got one or two dogs and maybe not three kids like me I got three boys right they're gonna be able to take care of them better and give them more one-on-one -on -one attention and she deserves that this is her retirement you know what I mean she's retired now so you know so she she can you know she can kick back a little bit we're gonna pull her out and pull her out the cage a little bit come on come on miss perfect come on hey, i wonder hey i wonder i wonder if she could jump out there i wonder if she could jump out the truck she probably could she probably could she probably could jump out this motherfucker come on what's up you gonna jump out hell no huh you like no nah, i'm too old she like no nah, i'm too old my baby miss perfect i love you girl it's my baby right there retired yeah that i'm gonna post this on my youtube video too man it's for my girl right here we gotta pay tribute she's an og she's an og right there love that dog man look at her come on straight great producer man great producer you know look at that you already know people looking at her like what's happening yes sir man she looked like in tip-top shape too she's still a little bull most people most people would have still milked it i'm not milking it she already did her thing it's time for her to move on and enjoy the rest of her life um well, yeah, much love, man. West Coast Bully Unit, we out here working early in the morning. Put your dogs in a good home. If you know you selling a dog to somebody who's not responsible, who doesn't take care of their dogs, and, you know what I'm saying, you know you, and, 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 and it be the ones who try to come and get a dog for a cheap price. The ones who try to come get a dog for a cheap price be the ones where you place them dogs that's where they end up dead that's where they end up not taken care of that's where they end up getting shitty food shitty conditions you know what i'm saying for me i rather i rather give the dog away for free than sell a dog for like little two three thousand dollars you know what i'm saying that's terrible you know what i'm saying you know hey the people who the people you know what i'm saying and then and then that's bad like you you know, somebody who's been breeding dogs usually not going to buy a female with three litters. But somebody who's thirsty, who's trying to squeeze one litter out of them, they're going to try to tell you, oh, come on, yeah, let me get the dog, let me get the dog. They end up not taking care of the dog, dogs die. Just just be careful where you place your dogs, man, you know. And, and, and karma, and karma's a mother lover, you know what I'm saying? Karma's a mother lover, you know what I'm saying? Don't go for that quick buck sometimes, man. Make sure you take care of your dogs. Karma, man, I'm telling you, hey for real for real yeah sandbox bullies you got her son man she, he looked just like her bro i was like damn he looked just like her i actually kept two i actually kept two females at the fat boy and miss perfect litter too and i got rose gold too so you know i got her grandkids at the house too so um shout out to everybody who tuned in man make sure you place your dogs in a good home after you know that you're done with them but I got to get the dog out of here. The people up here picking up the dogs here, man. Much love, man. Y'all take care. Yeah, that. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Y'all have a... Hey, enjoy your weekend.